Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over dealing with 16x9 footage in Final Cut Pro. And I use, um, I shoot in widescreen all the time natively in my camera, so I don't have to add those widescreen bars afterwards. And really, that isn't a great solution unless you um, have to, you're forced to shoot in full screen and you want a widescreen, then yeah, go ahead and add those bars after. But um, for those of you that have the option of shooting in widescreen, do it. Um, and if you are, this is a tutorial for you. Okay, so it's out with your importing. If you import wrong, it's going to be all messed up and a lot harder to deal with. So here's how to import 16x9 footage correctly. Um, I opened up my importing login capture. You can go to File, Login Capture here, which is also Apple 8, the shortcut. Okay, so you can uh, do all your logging stuff here. I'm not going to explain that. Um, clip settings, not that. I mean, if you want to get, you know, make sure you're selecting your video and your audio. Um, and then here, you, here's the most important part, your capture settings. Let me zoom up here. You want your device control, yeah, if you're using FireWire, I mean, select whatever wire device you're using to get your footage in. Select that. Your capture input needs to be DV NTSC 48KHZ anamorphic. Okay, this is for full screen right here. The the 48 or the DVC DV NTSC without the anamorphic after it, that's for full screen and this is for anamorphic. So you're going to want to do this one PAL, that's for the Europe TV, so you're not going to do that. But um, there you go. And make sure your scratch disk has enough space. Anyway, so once you import your footage, um, that's how I imported this footage right here. So if you do that, you should end up right here. And now that you're in Final Cut Pro, um, in the timeline with your footage, there's a couple other options that you're going to need to know about. Um, your sequence setting, and if you scroll down on this bar, you can see all your um, little things about the sequence, all the details. If you come far enough in here, you see anamorphic. I have that checked. And my footage is also checked because it is anamorphic. So if I uncheck my sequence, it's going to be full screen, and it's going to squeeze her and make her tall. Um, so if you need to make sure that is checked in your sequence if you're dealing with 16x9 footage in that timeline. So that's what you need to know right there. Exporting, file, export. I'm going to do a QuickTime conversion. Um, QuickTime movie options. And my compression's on uh, H.264 right now. Um, my size is fine. But what you're going to want to do is uh, just use a compressor native because it'll say, okay, what is the size of this? And then make that um, the corrections itself. And it's put in these dimensions here. So, um, Or you could also go to custom and type in your own. But you're going to want to work out the math to make sure it's correct because you, otherwise you'll have distorted video when you export. So that is... Um, how to deal with 16 by 9 footage in a in a quick uh, summary right there you know you're gonna have to play around and figure out how it works a little more this tutorial is not going to answer every question you have but um, this is really the basics and what you need to know you know I, I can't stress how important it is to import correctly and if for some reason um, Apple 8 if you import um, your imp is messed up and you're doing this anamorphic then you might want to try um, reading your manual and see which, or Googling, Googling always helps to find an answer, to see which, um, what your camera, how it needs to be imported into Final Cut Pro. There's blogs and forums out there that have the answers to the exact um, capture input you need to have for your certain camera. So check those out. And uh, anyways, subscribe if you like these videos, and I'll see you guys later.